Well, now to those lingering myths about earthquakes. Yeah, what is fact and what is fiction? Mm -hmm. KKNI's Chef Nguyen is live in Pasadena with the answers to that. Jeff? Guys, in order to answer that, we came to Caltech today to try to separate fact from fiction. And along the way, we learned that some traditions are simply not worth keeping. As families clean up from this weekend's earthquakes in Ridgecrest, concerns are being raised about what would happen if the same magnitude 7.1 quake struck directly under Los Angeles. Caltech seismologist Lucy Jones estimates it could cause about $200 billion in damage in Southern California. We have a lot of buildings in the Los Angeles area that were built before we had any seismic building codes. Buildings, especially buildings built before the 1976 code, are the ones that we're most concerned about. But it's not just renowned scientists who are worried. Everyday people have wondered about several myths, such as earthquake weather. There is actually not such a thing as earthquake weather. Robert Graves is a research geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey. We also checked with him whether your dog or cat has some special sense to predict a quake. It's been documented in some cases, but it hasn't been uh, scientifically reproduced. In the movie San Andreas, a massive quake caused the ground to open up. Dr. Gray says in real life, you may find some cracks near the surface, but... That is not the same as I think what's been depicted in the movies where the earth opens up, people fall in, and then it clamps back down on them. In the past, most of us were taught as children to go to a doorway when the ground shakes, but the philosophy has since changed when it comes to doorways. The door may be swinging, and there have been documented cases where People have tried to get in the doorway and they get whacked with the door and they get or get injured in that sense. And through the years, many people have wondered if a massive earthquake could cause California to slip into the ocean. Well, the U.S. Geological Survey says that too is a myth. We're live in Pasadena, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.